So Mark, can you update us on the latest situation with the freight traffic? Yes, I mean the situation at present is that Meseron are now uh, competing with the steam packet company. They have uh, taken some of our major customers away and uh, obviously I suspect that they may be seeking more of those so we, we have to in the short term act to try and prevent any further loss and also of course make sure that we're able to try and win back uh, as many of those customers that we have already lost as possible and that's something we'll be uh, taking on board and making efforts to try and win those people back uh, in, in short order. Now I guess from a passenger point of view there will be concerns perhaps that services could be cut back um, you know, uh, in terms of passenger services, how mi how might this affect those? Well, it's very early to say yet. I mean, we, we obviously have to look hard at what we can continue to provide in the way of passenger services. We need to understand here that uh, we're in a situation where we have a user agreement with the government, which is a, uh, an agreement which both provides us with um, certain security or has provided with certain security or is intended to provide us with a certain degree of security, but also obliges us as a result of that to perform certain actions. Now, what's happening at the moment is that the user agreement simply is not working as it was designed to. It's not working as it was intended to work. So in, the, in very simple terms, while we're still left with a lot of the responsibilities and obligations under the user agreement, we're not getting the protections that go hand in hand with those to ensure that we're able to continue to provide a full and balanced range of services. Can you tell us what some of those protections are then? Well, in simple terms, the protections are uh, against freight competition. Now, people will say that freight competition may not include low, low competition, but we're very clear that the user agreement was set up and it was set up to ensure that freight competition was restricted in such a way as to provide us with the opportunity to use those freight revenues going forward to subsidise or cross-subsidise in some, some degree passenger fares. Now, what's actually happening at the moment is that that clearly isn't the case. So we are, as I say, having to provide the full range of services still under the user agreement, but we're not getting the full protection as was intended by the user agreement. Did you actually get any warning that this was going to happen at all, or has it come like a bolt out of the blue? No, we got very little warning. In fact, we'd, we, we were told only a matter of days ago that this was the case. We were obviously aware that Mesron were um, competing with us and, were, and had been for some time taking some traffic. I mean, in recent months, they've obviously moved the service from restaurant. Uh, from, sorry, from Ramsey to Douglas and they've also increased the frequency from three times weekly to daily so we knew that they were competing uh, on a more perhaps um, improved basis and with a product that was arguably better than they had previously so we knew that was the case but equally we were um, as I say unaware that our customers were talking to them behind the scenes as regards moving from Steam Packet to Meseron services. Now there has been uh, talk the past uh, day or so about the, the possibility of job losses uh, in terms of, you know, in, in the media generally. I know there's not been anything specific from yourselves. Is that, is that a possibility at this stage? We have spoken to all of our staff groups now to make them aware of the seriousness of the situation because clearly where we have a scenario that we're obliged to maintain a level of passenger services but we're not getting the freight revenue that underpins those services, there has to be some long-term threat to both services and, and ultimately as a result of that jobs. Now that's very much a last resort and we want to avoid that and we'll fight hard to make sure we do avoid that but we cannot rule it out as a, as a consequence further down the line but we're certainly not at that stage yet. Now the steam packet obviously has got a 180 year history in the Isle of Man. Over that time period there's been many ups and downs. Um, I guess very much you've probably got a bit of fighting spirit in you to, uh, to improve this situation. Yes, absolutely. And I think you know, people need to understand that we have been around for 180 years. We're not about to go down here without a fight and we will use every weapon in our armory that we have to make sure that we're able to protect passenger services and continue the service that the company has given to the Isle of Man over a very long period of time.